Hey guys, it's me, Mari Bond, and I am back with another video. Today is December 8th, and it is currently 9.19 p.m. I have a late video. I was supposed to do this video a little bit earlier. Well, I was supposed to do a video a little bit earlier, but then I got a little bit busy, and then I had noticed something, and then I was like, okay, well, I'll do the video with him. So I'm not going to change him or anything. I'm just going to ask you guys for help, really. Um, so I noticed when I had went over there by the baby's area, I was just looking at him and I noticed that like his cheek is like pilly. And I don't know why or how it's peeling. So I just wanted to ask any reborn artists that are, or, let me rephrase that. Is that a, guys, there's a, pass the underneath the dishwasher because i'm recording this in the kitchen because the lighting is really good there's like five different sets of lighting if that makes sense and make sure you guys what do i spot i spot hey passy but anyways what was i talking about oh i had notice that he has like this little spot okay i think i said that already so i'm just asking if there's any silicone artists out there or even silicone collectors because sometimes they know just as much or even more than artists sometimes so if there's any silicone artists out there or silicone collectors out there that can help me figure out why his cheek is peeling um i don't touch hold or play with my babies off camera sometimes you know i'll give them a little snuggle or i'll have them by me but for him he has actually not been by me getting tons of snuggles in since like october maybe and you guys already know it's because i had lost my bond with him and um and i lost my bond with him so that's why he hasn't been getting a lot of cuddles but the reason how I noticed is because I was thinking about listing him up for sale officially. Because you guys know I was like putting out feelers and I did the whole video. Then I did another post. I was like, well, I'm not, I'm actually not going to sell him, guys. I'm going to keep him unless someone's seriously interested. And then I'm like, okay, maybe I'll put him up officially for sale. You know, I don't like doing the whole back and forth. The baby's for sale. The baby is not for sale. But, you know, with him, it's just... It's very hard to figure out if I actually want to list them up for sale, you know? So that is why I'm having a hard time. So I was like, well, maybe I should just officially list them up for sale. My other babies aren't selling. I'm wanting to bring home some new babies for Christmas or one like a baby for Christmas. And it's hard to do that because my other three babies aren't selling so i was like okay well he's the only one that i'm willing to let go since i'm not bonding with him but then i had noticed a thing on his cheek or the pilling on his cheek and i was like well i can lower his price so i had lowered his price and i was like i don't know what i can do except for that i don't know how i can fix it or if there is a way to fix it you guys can pretty pretty much see it's like a dot on his cheek it's really really small and one thing about me is like if I see something and it's like don't do it I want to do it like I see that his cheek is peeling and the obvious thing to do is to not peel it and not mess with it but it's like I want to do that I don't know why but I think that's the only area that's peeling is his cheeks so i'm not gonna be putting any passies in because i don't know if it's from me going like this or for him having a passy in i don't know how he started peeling or anything like that but he has this little peeling and i don't blame his artist at all i don't blame his artist i don't blame anybody i don't blame myself i don't blame his artist it's, you know it's something small it's not really a big deal to me but yeah, so I did lower his price already. And I just want to know if there's a way I can prevent it from happening. It's on this side, too. I was going to ask if you guys can see it, but you definitely can. It's like right here. And I think that's it. I don't think I see it anywhere else. 
just on his cheeks. So maybe it is for the pa from the pasties. I'm not sure what causes peeling, but I want to make sure I prevent it from him and for September because I don't want her to peel if there's like a reason as like I'm doing it. I don't want her to peel either. I'm just checking to see if he has any other areas that's peeling or something that's like a major boo-boo that he came that he did not come to me with like but I don't think so you guys know I take good care of my babies so I just wanted to check I don't think there's anything that I have made except for maybe the cheeks peeling and I'm not even sure how that happened or how I did that if I were to want to do that I'm not really sure just wanting to look and then ask you guys for help you know you never want to disclose when you're selling a baby you never want to not disclose anything about the baby you always want to disclose if there's anything wrong with the baby or if the baby has any boo-boos so i'm just checking on camera to make sure there's nothing else and i don't think there is just his cheeks are peeling and um yeah, of course, he's not perfect. He's silicone. No silicone is perfect. But he does have those two tiny flaws. All right, well, those not really his only flaws. I wouldn't really consider him a boo-boo baby, but he does have, like, a few flaws, I guess. I'm not really sure what they would be, except for the um, pilling. Like, there's not anything, like, obvious that's a flaw about him is what I'm trying to get across. But, yeah, I think otherwise than that, he should be okay. But, yeah. So, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I should do or what do you guys think I should do for those of you who paint silicone or who collect silicone do anyone know why they pill any ways to prevent it any ways to maybe help it not help it but like get rid of it i don't think you can get rid of pilling i don't think so i just don't want it to get any worse and i don't want to sell him and he pills even more and then you know when someone may be saying it's my fault or they want a refund or anything like that or that sort i mean knock on wood because I don't want that to happen. So that's why I'm asking you guys and making this video. So any potential mommies or daddies or whoever for him can see all of his details and things like that. I just don't want to get blamed for anything after he is out of my possession. So if there's anything I can do to prevent it, from happening again or spreading or any further or to prevent it from for my other full body silicone baby let me know in the comments below i'm not going to take up too much you guys this time this is a pretty boring video so i'll go ahead and let you all go i just wanted to make sure i did this video before it got too late that way i can edit it and upload it if i upload it through my laptop it won't take too long but my airdrop has been messing up lately so sometimes i had to upload i mean edit and upload on my phone and that takes forever but yeah anyways that is pretty much it for this video i am going to change the babies once more before they get changed into their christmas outfits so stay tuned for that it looks so cute i like having the babies laid out like this because it looks like they're just chilling and i love that I love that for them. They're on a vacation permanently. And I wish I could go on a vacation permanently. But I can't. So I can just live through them. Yeah, he looks so cute. That's how Milano was propped up on this poppy. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in some affordable, biracial, African-American, reborn, baby dolls, authentic, let me know because I have three of them up for sale. They are begging, they are desperate, or is it me, <laughs> that they can find a home before 
happy, very merry holidays. I am crossing my fingers that these babies get a new home. I'm just crossing my fingers that these babies just get a new home before the holidays. So if anyone is interested, please don't hesitate to email me or DM me on Instagram. Speaking of, you guys can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Maya underscore Reborns. Link is in the description. And that is pretty much it. So you guys can go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below anything you guys want in the comments, including video requests. And hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Ring that bell so you can always be notified when I post another video. Me and Seven will talk to you guys later. And hopefully he doesn't have any more pilling problems and issues. He's still cute either way. He just looks like eczema or something. Super cute. Does not take away from his beauty at all. He's so handsome. And yeah. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.